southwest of Tucson, a mountain called Kitt Peak, and it's also a place where astronomers are searching for answers to unlock the universe. But you don't need to be a scientist to go there. It's reopening to the public. It closed during COVID and then during a wildfire. Fox 10's Brian Webb has more. A cluster of telescopes sit atop Kitt Peak, close to 7,000 feet above sea level. Call it a booster step to the stars and an Arizona gem hiding in plain sight. We've lived in Tucson for, um, what, 40 years, I guess, and it's the first time we've actually visited. Never been under before, heard about it a long time ago, but just never made it up. There are more than 22 observatories up here, the largest concentration of telescopes anywhere in the world, each one with its own measurements and missions, from searching out near-Earth objects that could threaten our species to finding other Earth-like planets and understanding the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy. Dick Joyce has worked on the mountain for 51 years. The goal is to study the distribution of galaxies in the universe going back in time to try to get a history of how galaxies form, come together, and cluster over the last eight billion years. And then there's this monster, the McMath Pierce Telescope, the size of the Statue of Liberty, and until recently, the largest solar telescope on Earth. It's Emily's job to make sure the hardware is running smoothly, and it keeps the U of A grad on her toes. It's really complicated. So telescopes are extremely complex machines that include huge hardware, like the stuff you can see behind me, and also really fine, um, delicate instrumentation uh, that is in all sorts of places. We're standing under that huge telescope that dates back to the early 60s. It projected such an impressive image of the moon that some of the Apollo astronauts studied it right here on this table. And soon you'll be able to see the same image for yourself. This area will become the new Windows Center, a $4.5 million upgrade to celebrate the discoveries at Kitt Peak. Things like the first ever direct image of a black hole and the discovery of water on the sun and ice on Pluto. There's also a chance for average Joes and Janes to live like a real astronomer. You essentially become uh, a visiting astronomer and you get your own observatory, your own guide, and uh, the ability to take pictures through the telescopes, eat at the staff cafeteria, stay in the dorms where researchers stay, uh, and really get the full uh, all-night experience of staying uh, here in Till the sun comes up. But this spot is about more than just science. It's also sacred land for the Tohono O'odham tribe, something Vivian is proud to share with visitors. Whatever you're feeling within you and you're down in Tucson or down in Phoenix or wherever you're coming from, you come up here, you feel totally different. You feel relieved. And the tour takers we talked to give Kitt Peak a five-star rating. I think just seeing the, the actual mirrors inside the telescope and just how, how big it is, how long it is. I think what's really cool is they're building a new facility that they'll be able to use for field trips and, and things for kids and, and adults for that matter to come and, and be able to really learn a lot more. It, I think it's really exciting. Kitt Peak, Arizona, a quick trip from Tucson that's out of this world. Brian Webb, Fox 10 News. And Kitt Peak is celebrating its 60th anniversary tomorrow night by rolling back the price to get in to 1964. Then it will be open to the public. Again, a lot of people were anxious to get back in because it had been closed for some yeah, time. That's spectacular. Mm -hmm.